Hello and welcome to this super short repair video from RC Empire. Now, as a lot of you may remember from episode 4 of our Tamiya TT02 Type S race build, where we fitted this amazing Hobbywing XE Run 10.5 turn motor, it actually came out of the box with the sensor plug clip that holds the cable in place broken. So we emailed the supplier and within two days Schumacher RC who are the UK distributors got a brand new one out to us ASAP which was great. So in this video we are simply going to be fitting a new one. So let's get straight into it. Now the first step is to remove our motor and on the TTO2 this is super easy. So remove this top plate and that will expose the pinion and spur gears. Now one thing I want to show you is just how much grit and rubbish gets inside here and I have no idea where it comes from. Okay, the screws stripped on one of the holes holding the top plate on but even when this wasn't stripped, stone still got in there and got stuck in the gears. We even sealed the top with a layer of heavy grease but they still get in there. So it's worth opening that up every run or every few runs and just blowing and brushing out any grit or dirt. What you can also see is that after two years of exclusive 3S running, these gears are absolutely as good as new and 100% solid, as to be expected. The only damage is from the stones that got in between the gears. But just to show you that although you can pick up a TTO2 or any Tamiya model for relatively cheap, they are definitely not low end models and you can very, very happily ramp up the power as we have done here with this 10.5 turn brushless system on 3S. And as we all know, Tamiya are still some of the highest quality, toughest models on the market, and you can really get a lot out of them. But anyway, with the top plate off, turn the car upside down and remove these two screws holding the motor mount on. And that's it, it's out. And just there, you can see this little flap is broken. To be honest, looking at it now, we could have just super glued it back in place with a tiny, tiny bit of glue. But for the purpose of this video, we'll show you how to remove and replace this end cap. And here is the new one. Look at that. With courtesy from Schumacher, brand new. You can see the timing marks to advance or retard the motor timing on the back there by turning the dial and on the back, you also have your little circuit board with a sensor. It's really simple, but actually, it feels great quality. A really nice bit of material there. So to remove the old one, simply unscrew these three screws here. And unpeel this sticker as well, because it's super tough and is holding the end on. and just loosen the end off and look at that. A bit dusty and dirty, we haven't cleaned this for a few sessions which is bad, but there's the old one. And you can see how dirty it is compared to the new one. But once that's off, in exactly the same way you removed the old one, replace the new one. And also use this as an opportunity to clean and maintain the motor as well as the whole car. And we'll show you how to do that another time. Now note, make sure that with any mechanism you're reassembling, that everything fits nicely and snug. Don't force anything to fit in that doesn't want to, because nine times out of 10, the parts haven't sat correctly and they're misaligned. And you might end up stripping a screw or bending part of the material. So just take your time and everything should fit back perfectly. And that's it. Fit the motor back in, clean everything on the car since you've taken it all apart. Refit the motor and the sensor cable and you're good to hit the track. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing this little part change. In the next few episodes, however, we're going to be removing this little powerhouse of a motor and installing a brand spanking new 17.5 turn motor to race in the Blinky series, as well as changing all the gearing. And this car should be incredible for that. It already handles like a pro and will be great as a Blinky series racer. But that's it, do check out some of our running videos already out with the TTO2 Type S, as well as the coming ones and speed runs. But that's it, please do rate, comment and subscribe for more content. 
Thank you for watching and see you soon.